Well, I'm back. This morning we, uh, we learned how to do my marinara sauce. Uh, the, the recipe was posted on my Facebook account, but I need to make a few corrections with the video. It's not a tablespoon of pepper or a tablespoon of salt. They were teaspoons. And also, if you want to make it, you got to keep on stirring it. But I don't like to stir it all the time, so I basically got the recipe to where I had and I wanted it for the first 20-30 minutes simmering. Then I stuck it in the oven at 275 for the next two hours. By doing that, you don't burn the sauce and it comes out just beautiful. Then I took an immersive um, um, blender, smoothed it all out and readjusted the different taste levels. I had to add a little more salt, a little more spices. It was a little bitter and again, because it's bitter, it doesn't need more sugar. It doesn't need anything else. It's a pH level. So I had to use about a half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Stir that in, add a little more salt, and it is wonderful. So now I'm going to teach you how to can if you don't know how to can. Or if you know how to can, I'm doing something wrong, text me. You know, I'm learning, I'm here to learn. So we have the, the pressure cooker going, and then we have the sauces. I blended them, so now they're equal portions of everything. So I married them and went back and forth. So what now I do, after I have the caps in here in boiling water, we sterilize these in a dishwasher for an hour and a half in their brand new jars. So they're going to be perfect. Perfectly um, sanitized. No bacteria, no mold, no anything. So now this is just putting it together. All I do is you take a big old scoop, fold the jar, you use this little funnel. It's made direct for these ball jars. By the way, whoever came up with the the term canning. I don't see a can, do you? I don't see a can. So that's one thing that uh, is puzzling to me. I have to look that up sometime. So we want to get it right about a half inch to an inch just above right there. We go on to the next one. See how full that is? And I have another question for you guys in the audience. Whoever came up with the term grandma's? I was at grandma's kitchen. I was at grandma's. Oh, the sauce was at grandma's house. It was phenomenal. I guess that turned way back when men didn't know how to cook or they didn't want to cook or they were out to war. I don't know. Maybe that was the, in the caveman days or something like that, that the men went out and killed the beast and the woman cooked the beast. But so you can see I'm just filling them up nice and full, nice and tall. We'll continue with about three or four, then we'll put the tops on just in case I get the flipsies and I, I can start skilling or uh, spilling skilling. No skill here, man. This is just all repetition. Okay, that looks good. So now what I do, put that on that jar like that. I want to make sure the lids are nice and clean because when you seal it, you don't want anything in the way. So I just take a paper towel instead of using a cloth that may be dirty. So it's nice and, and I just put the lid on. Real simple. I got a little magnet on the end of this stick. It all comes with a canning kit if you have it. Now, you can use a water bath. This is a pressure cooker. Because I like the pressure cooker, it gets up to about 256 degrees once it's all said and done. A water bath will never get above 212. You can boil it until the water's gone. But boiling water only gets to 212. Now, a lot of cases, that's okay. But I really like it precautionary. I'm going to keep these things two, three years. So the lids are not tight. I just put them on because when the air comes out, you want the leak out. If you put them on real tight, you're not going to uh, have any leak come out. Now I'll stick them right in. The water is starting to boil, and I'll continue and just put this in here now and not wait until it's full boil. It kind of tempers the sauce, which is really hot still. It just came off the stove. And I just want to continue as fast as I can, and as cautious as I can, because this is scolding us. See how nice texture that baby is? Oh, man. It is so smooth. Now my marinara sauce, I don't even just use it on spaghetti. I use it on all my uh, my Parmesan sauces, my lasagna. I even use it for my pizza sauce. It is so delicious. You want to use it, and it's just, to me it's addictive. I, I just look forward to this meal over any other meal when I'm using this sauce. I guess all those spices, maybe I mix some other spices in that I wasn't, wasn't supposed to, that look green. I don't know. But it's pretty uh, ridiculously addictive. Okay, we're getting low here. Go to the next pot. Move this around here. Oh. Can't you 
here, just trickle in there. On to the next one. Like I said, I do about three at a time because the, uh, the pressure cooker will handle up to eight or seven. So I'll just start pressure cooking after six. Then I got six more back there and I'll have two pots. Okay. Again, we wipe the rim off. Get that nice and clean so that seal just seals perfect. Now I got a nice boiling water. Oops, that's a little hot for my fingers. I want to cut it down to low. And I do that because I really don't want to have the water boil off, boil it down. Now in this pressure cooker, I didn't tell you how much water you put in. I only put about three inches at the bottom because again, we're pressure cooking. We're not boiling. And if you put too much in, you're not going to gain any pressure. You want as much pressure as you can. And there's ways to regulate the pressure. And I'll show you that also because you don't want to have your bottles break. Now I can put them in with my hands quickly because it's not that hot, but I ain't taking them out with my hands. We have got that baby right there. Okay, so we have six in here and that's going to do it. And we're almost done with this video so then you can go eat your dinner. All right. Now here, oh, that was on that Son of a gun. Again, excuse my back, but it really is my best side. No one likes to see the All right, that's the pressure gauge. Okay, these are these are poundage rings or ounces of rings. Once this starts, and I'm going to turn this all the way up. And I'm going to turn this pot around because you're going to see, or well, you maybe not see. I may turn this off in the meantime. This little valve is going to start when it start boiling. It's going to raise. It's going to have steam. Once it builds up to pressure, this thing's going to start releasing a little bit of pressure, and then you want to turn it down. Now I pressure cook this for 15 minutes. It not only just keeps the pressure, it reheats that spaghetti sauce or the marinara sauce up all over again. All right, so I'm not going to show you how it comes out. It's a real simple process. I don't think you want to stand around for 20 minutes, but supper tonight. I'm going to do a, a fried cod with marinara over garlic bread. So stick around for dinner if you'd like. But thanks for joining in. And again, if you like the video, please like it. If you, if you subscribe, more people will see it, and more people will get the recipe, and just on and on and on and on. Thank you for your attention, and you have a great Sunday night.